as the brand ambassador for the Ballroom Grooming, Men's Grooming Center, I hereby duly uh, commission this place in the presence of uh, Madam Doreen, in the presence of KSM, the godfather of uh, comedy, in the presence of Floating Stone, Ghana's favorite rapper, in the presence of um, Chemical GH Comedian. Multi TV, most especially Joy Prime, Joy News, Adum TV. I commissioned this place and I, I, I term it officially launched in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alright, so today we are talking entertainment from the latest baby and it looks like DKB is the brand ambassador and of course once he's here we have our godfather KSM here. We also have Floating Stone who came out here to support and it looks like it's the main thing but perhaps women can also pass through. So let's just talk to them briefly and see what they make of the place and uh, of course the expectations of the place. Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Entertainment. Thank you. Alright, so the place has been launched. Um, you are a man. How, what do you make of the place? I think it's a beautiful place. Um, actually, I came for the massage. Yeah, I think it's a beautiful place, and I'm sure it will give good services too. Yeah. You look like you've been here. <laughs> I've not been here. This is my first time, and uh, well, I don't want to. See, I, I, I'm yet to find out if women can also be part of this place. Uh, perhaps it's more of like men stuff. Okay, let me go straight to the Godfather, KSM. KSM, um, of course, it looks like this is our first time here. And um, what do you make of the play? Oh, it's very beautiful, very, very stunning indeed, you know. And it's quite interesting because it looks as if men are now beginning to pay attention to their, to their beauty looks. <laughs> this used to be the domain of the woman, you know. But gradually getting more and more men's grooming joints. And this is really fantastic, you know. You think it's a good thing because um, there's this perception that men don't really care about themselves. It's like just get a bath. Usually even to cream their bodies is, is a whole headache. Just put on something and you're out of your house. So, I mean, I thought it would just be a barbering salon, but it looks like it has more. Oh, yeah, yeah, men are now understanding that you have to be fine, you know. I guess it's the pressure from the ladies, you know. <laughs> And me, you know, I mean, uh, actually, on Monday, if I should take the opportunity, I'll be 60. Oh my God, this is an exclusive. So Monday, you'll be 60. Yeah, you know, and I still want to look fine. You still look oh, hot. Yeah, I have to keep the swag on, so. <laughs> <laughs> And I have the man DKB here already. He he's it looks like he's the, the main man behind all of this set, of course. Um being ambassador yeah. for the place, how does it feel? Comedy plus this all of this, where where is the connection? Yeah, it's high time people need to know that comedians to we are sexy. Um, we, we we love haircuts mm. because I mean uh, you know we we we, we embody um, I mean, like, we are, we are, me for instance, I'm a performer, I'm a man. So if you're on stage and people are watching you, you are not only a performer, you're an element. Now, this element, you need to look appealing in all regards. So imagine there's somebody in the crowd sitting with a child who, the, or a son who believes in ghetto youth. Ghetto youth, now he shave the hair, you know. Then you come on stage, you, you are looking ghetto youth, messy. You understand? But if you look clean, at that moment, the mother or father can use her as an example. Now look at the performer on stage. He looks so cleaned up and well groomed. Why won't you? You understand? So you become an example to emulate. So for me, I, I feel it's a it's a new challenge. I love it, and uh, I'll draw more attention to the fact that we need to groom. There are a lot of guys who need to be well groomed with the shaving, the the facials, and we need to look spot on because. In as much as women pay attention to that, we also need to do so because it's, it's part of the package as men. Women 
fall for men who are well groomed. I'm telling you, it sticks on their mind. It's so easy, so cute. Just that she will never tell you, but she will tell you mentally. You understand? Which is very depressing, but that's for another day. Uh -huh. So I mean, it's very exciting. It's great, and uh, you know, we're here to celebrate. So it's not just going to be one-off thing. Uh, people will be hearing a lot of uh, boardroom, and uh, there's going to be expansion. We'll have the other side is going to be a full massage center. Yeah, like a proper muscles and everything are going to be there. So walk down the street. The number of saloons is equal to the number of drinking bars. It's not fair. <laughs> so it's making a woman look beautiful at her own expense. And then annoying thing is that we pay for the saloon. Happy birthday, ballroom. Happy birthday, but let's all cut the cake. Hold my hand, please. Proper cake. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hooray. It's official. If you don't find us anywhere, we are in the boardroom. Yes, all the guys. Yes. Guys, full protection guaranteed. But since you're doing it for men, don't you think you should do it for ladies too? Yes, like uh, they were saying early on, ladies' saloons are all over, and lately or nowadays, women are very interested in men who are very neat, men who are very particular about their nails, their face, their hair, all that. So we were thinking that why don't we go into men's stuff, okay? And it, it's less in town, so why don't we go into men's stuff? And we think that that is one of the reasons why we had to do this. Run us through what are some of the things that will be going on here, like apart from the haircuts, what other things you do? Okay, we're going to have a um, massage, there's going to be a pedicure, manicure, um, alongside with facials. Yes, basically these are the things that is going to go on here. Yeah. How expensive are they or less expensive? They are very affordable, very affordable. Yeah.